Warning, this video is made by the community of Wizards Comics and Collectibles Inc. The cast's views and opinions do not reflect those of the company or its owners. This video may contain adult language. You have been warned. We're good. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to our second unboxing on our channel now with the Adventure Coats podcast. I am here with again Bryce, my co-host, and our guests are for today. Erin, mm -hmm. this is uh, she's going to be introducing her. We're introducing her into the world of Warhammer this time. <laughs> this is we're unboxing as you can see on the camera. We have two two cameras set up now. One up there. Um, we're unboxing the newest box from uh, Games Workshop, uh, Forge Bane. By the time you see this, it sh will be released. Um, yep. So, Aaron, this is your first army. Yep. Um, you chose Necrons. Why did you choose Necrons? Bryce told me to. Ouch. <laughs> why, why wouldn't you make her choose Necrons? Because it's a decent army to start with your painting because it's really simple. Most Necrons can be painted straight silver. And then all you have to do is wash them, and they look pretty good at that point. Uh, so Allowing Necrons to be not necessarily one of the easier armies to paint, but one of the easier armies to paint. We also have Glenn in the background, if yeah. you hear him mumble from time to time. Hello! <laughs> oh. And a crazy cat, so... She's not crazy. Yeah, until she Hyper. dive bombs the camera again. Oh, <laughs> we um, craziness in this house. Quality. So, you guys <laughs> got this. Um, let's flip it over and see what we get inside before we let you crack it open. Oh, great. Oh. Maybe tilt it. It's, get, it's getting oh. better. Oh. It's getting better. Oh. Okay, so how about we just have a nice time explaining what's in the box. Here we go. <laughs> that's, that's as good as I can get without mm -hmm. risking the bump. Okay, so I can do this Qatari part of the box pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. So as far as this Qatari is concerned, you get your small rule book regarding the new, uh, the new miniature knights. That'll be playable in both the Imperial Knights Army right there. and the apparently Adeptus Mechanicus Army. Uh, to go with it, you get one unit of Skatari warriors, that's the ten guys, and one tech priest. Ooh, right there. Take that for now. We'll leave it off for now until we have to come back to us. Mm -hmm. As far as the Necrons are concerned, you'll have to read the box. <laughs> I don't like Necrons. So we got... And yet you told me to get them. So we have... I know what we got. We got a... <laughs> it looks like two units of Immortals and Crypt, the Crypt Guard. So I'm pretty sure you can build them as both, like they're a two, double slot box. We have the Wraith dudes, the floating scarab things that love to eat tanks. And we have the debut of their new plastic Cryptek. I believe that's the HQ dude. Um, yeah, then in the Skatari we have the new, per, premiering the new mini knights up here. And their mini crawl. And of course the rules, and the new rules for the dudes. So nice. This box is nice. I like the art. It does have really nice art for a box set. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice box is nice. So I guess because you you bought it, uh, we will let you tear it open. To yourself as well. You get like a D six of damage. Ooh, it's actually much more <laughs> noticeable without the plastic on. Turn the light back <laughs> on. Yeah, let's see what this does now. <laughs> okay. Well, well, yeah, we're gonna get to the <laughs> hey, that works. Flip it over, let people yeah. see the back without plastic on it. It's gonna be the same quality. About that, yeah. Mm. Or it comes with a copy of the rules as well. That four-page little fold part sheet to assist everybody with what they're doing Which for all those really new good players <laughs> interested in learning. Mainly, Aaron. <laughs> I'm the only one who's interested in learning in the whole world. Well, right now you are. <coughs> well, it's a big on. world. So yeah, okay, Aaron, open the box. It depends on which country or which part of Canada you're coming from. Um, I was just saying. And the lid's off. Oot. And now we see a large <coughs> amount of plastic sheets. They're smaller. They've compacted. So I already starting to see the mini night heads. Over here, it we looks have like they're all the way across the top. We have shoulder more pads. Your knights. They look. They're they're literally little tiny knights. I know they are. Yeah. They're much bigger than tanks. Look at these. They're baby knights. 
You haven't seen the head yet. And then they're called night like onagers or something. Onagers? That's uh, a, a <laughs> fictional character from old fashioned uni team said, I shall name him George and I shall pet him. Yes, he looked like that's the tiny little heads. Yeah, those oh are the new knights. Mine! <laughs> so, Actually, no, for those who <laughs> have played, there's the head. The Imperial Knights? Congratulations, yeah. you now have a really small Imperial Knight to play. It looks like it'll be, judging from this screw, it's going to be about the same height as the uh, Primaris Dreadnought. Okay, so under that we have the Necrons. It looks like they have them all on the right oh, side. The and then you have this guitar. This is the new... Cryptic. No, these are the Honor Guard. That's not a Cryptic? No. That's uh, a Skitari. That's Skitari. We want to see the Cryptic right now. That was the Cryptic. No, that was an Honor Guard. That was all. It's Honor Guard. has a molded Extra. base. Oh. Yeah, that's an Honor Guard, dude. This is cool. part of the flying dudes. So I guess we'll go in order and we'll oh, find no, them this somewhere. Oh, no, this is the Cryptic. It's only part of them, though. There's another piece of them in there. Honor Guards don't have spears. They have oh, uh, hand weapons. It's part of the... The new and improved crypt tech. And then here's your tech priest. The same as the standard tech priest from the looks of it. Does the hand trick work? No. <clears throat> oh yeah, the hand trick is not working on this camera. Well, there's what your you, dude. What if you get put this spot? Uh, put a piece of paper behind it. That's yours. That's what I've tried, but I need an actual setup, and I want to make an actual right. camera layout with a white thing. There, there's one by. Um, hmm. That's more tech <coughs> priest yeah. stuff. There's a there's a company called uh, Fat Mats, and they make one called the Micro Mat. That's meant for this sort of thing. Could we try this mat? It's too pink. You need yeah. white. You need a white backing, a neutral. That's part of the. Uh, is it working? Yeah. yeah. So what? Get closer, maybe. And then closer the whole yeah. Yeah. And that is your tech priest equipment. It makes a standard tech priest. There's nothing particularly special about it. It gives you the head option to make tech priest donuts, though. Or donuts. Donuts. Yes. The tech priest donuts. <laughs> tech priest donuts. Even though he doesn't have donuts. You'll see it better when you buy it. Well, you'll see it better when we debut the painted versions. Well, yeah, you still got to do your army showcase for this year, so these guys will be part of that. Yep, they'll be part of the, the uh, Skitari army when they're finished. Uh, then, <laughs> going back to the Necrons, we have... The the wraiths dudes. The Necron wraiths. Wraiths. Pretty pretty easy to understand what they are. They got the big back pieces. The claw. The <laughs> claw. And use some more of them. Oh boy. They're big units. I keep forgetting how large they are. They're like the size of standard dreadnoughts. Maybe not plastic wise, but height wise. Right now, bulk. some of them look like centipedes. That's Basically, they kind of are. They're like oh, there's some of your warrior dudes centipedes. in here too. Mm -hmm. is, there is, that, there? is that a warrior body? I don't think that is. No, this is all part of the uh, part of the spider. This is on wow. the back the of the box. They're big <laughs> models. The wraiths are big, huge models. Oh, I can see the book. Uh, we have to go on this side now. Uh, Skitaris. Yep, a bunch of Skitari. Looks like the Vanguard. So, so Skitari Rangers. Easier to paint than I thought, which is nice. Yeah, Necrons are very easy to paint. They're like, if you want to learn how to dry brush and start with an army, you choose them. If you want to paint and do layering, you do space spotchy marinis. Wait, if this is the case, am I going to expect fine croissants? Yes. Yay, fine croissants! <laughs> well, oh, here you go. Here's your... Uh, Here's your guards, or your neck, or your immortals. <coughs> I don't think they limit you in what you can make. What is Glenn expecting? The Skitari aren't limited Necrons. either. Uh -huh. uh, flying croissants are these ships that uh -huh. they have that are like air, they're like fighter jets, except that they look like metal croissants. Unfortunately, there are no right? flying no. croissants in this. Which is awesome. Um, yeah, that's just more of the dudes. Look, the legs are Necron Immortals. Their legs, their legs are long. They're really leaky. <laughs> their legs. And who's this? I have long More legs. Necrons. So these are the actual Immortals. Yeah, these are the Necron Heavy Gunners. Guns. That's their job. Shoot. They don't have guns. um. They don't have what? Plastic coils anymore. Like the the colored coils. That's for the standard <laughs> infantry. They don't make plastic coils for these ones. These aren't infantry, these are elites, I think, Ooh. or heavy support. Now we get to the bottom Those of the box. Are sweet oh, there's guns. your poster. We have a poster. I want that poster. You can have it. Sweet. 
<laughs> oh, you should photocopy this for me. Wait, what will you version. give? What will you give me for it? You get the rule book. And it's got this. I was gonna get that either way. Sick. <laughs> Warhammer 40k backer. I definitely nice. want this as a wallpaper or as a mouse pad. That'd be cool. That'd mouse be pad. cool, yeah. I want the mouse pad, just the like guitar. Straight to the one who talks free. Yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> of course, we have our bases. Wow. So okay. So these oh are the mini. Oh my Those are the mini knights. These are the mini knight bases. Um, these are. Um, what have you seen these on? Because they have the. They're the five square. mil bases, aren't they? They're the squares that uh, ogrins come on. Um, oh. I was thinking of like those little spider things that the Skatari have. Yeah, the dune crawlers come on. Dune crawlers, dune crawlers come on. So these are sixty mils. <coughs> they have to be 60 mils at least, I think. What is 60 mils? But you can do Doom Crawlers with no bases oh, okay. too if you want to have fun. Yeah, but those are cooler. for Mini Knights? Those are for yeah. Mini Knights. Why are the Mini Knights have big bases? Because they're big. <laughs> they're big pieces. The irony is strong. Can you pass um, me those, please? You want to see one? No, I want to see both, please. Well, you don't need both. They're they the same thing. But then I have eyes! <laughs> so we have our. I believe these are for the fly, the, the wraiths. Probably. Is there three? It's Atari Guardians that has the long gun. Oh, mm. okay. That would make sense. Then we have the bases. Mm-hmm. A lot of bases. Does right. Katari get the tiny ones? Um, ooh! It was covered in plastic. Transfer sheets? Yeah, it was covered in wax paper. Hmm. First off, we have... Yeah. Our Necron transfer sheets. Necron transfers. Really hard to transfer transfer <laughs> sheets. <laughs> Looking Necrons forward to are it. All no. Tiny writing. <laughs> they have gold. This stuff's really good if you cut it. You put them into the books that librarians have open when they're casting a spell. You use these tiny ones in them, and it looks like a spell. That's what nice. I did with my librarian. That's yours. And you got your Skatari. Cool designs. I think that's the transfer sheet for the mini knight. Adeptus Mechanicus transfers. Yep. And then you've got another transfer for this. This is the knights. Is They're it? Imperial Knights Armigers transfer sheets. Yeah, there you go. So these are. They just got the Imperial Knight stuff and they shrunk them. Wait, wait Will, did Basically. I just hear you say Ermagerds? Ermagerds. Ermagerds. I don't know how you say Imperial this. Imperial Knight Ermagerds. Ermagerds. Well, there's the. It says Armiger. That's what it says. <laughs> now we're into the book. Yeah. Come on, if you can get the book open. There we go. I remember when me and Nathaniel... So this is the... Instruction manual. Instruction manual. I know some guys out there, or girls, we're not, we're not going to be sexist here. Thank who, you. <laughs> who, uh, even though you don't kind of fall into this, because you, you, you haven't built a model before, so you're definitely going to go true. through this. Mm -hmm. But for those who think they've built models before, you, um, well, they've, they've changed it. quite a bit, as you can see here. This is like the new Lego. Necron. You, or this is the tech priest dude. That's the Skatari tech priest. Yeah, you um, yeah, don't don't skip these. Go very slow. They sometimes double up, so it'll be like times two of this guy, and then show you how to do it. Like, look at this. Remember back in the day when they only showed us like three pages with no numbers, and they're just like lines, and then like it's like draw a circle, shade, and then owls done sort you of mean scenario. Like old so it was like characters. a it was like IKEA. Now this is like yeah. Lego. <laughs> yeah, I, this is now IKEA. <laughs> no, this is Lego. No, the last one was like Lego. Oh, it's like, right. put this one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this I one's guess. like, in, in like in Swedish. Oh, here's the middle lights. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're right here. I'll just ask you guys if I'm confused. Okay. Or look at ones online. Oh, yeah. Or make them funky. I don't think I'm allowed. Uh, you can. It's up ah. to you. You just gotta choose a dynasty and kind of go with the theme. It's the best way to do it. Or um, check out their YouTube page. Yeah. They, they, they have painting guides and stuff on there. Oh, cool. I want to find the new Necron dude. Where's the new Necron, dude? That's your immortals. All your weapon options. Okay, while you're looking, I got a question. Yeah. Did they ever tell Lich you card. why there was holes in the instruction booklets but not in the plastic? No. Aw, oh, dang. That'd they, be she, so she, funny, you know. Mistakes were made and... Yeah. How do you yeah, put a hole questioned. in the book? Well, Something like, bad happens I do that book. sometimes. Not, not yeah, on purpose. They're can, they're can in the middle? Wait, wraiths. Uh, not in the middle. They're so what? Canopect wraiths. Canopic? Canoptic rate. <laughs> Canopec. Canopec. I like that. We're gonna, call Ken Ken We're gonna call your Necrons Canopec Necrons. That sounds good, because I like calling things Consider the way it they're looks. Called Canopec. We should trademark that and make it an army case. Canopec? Yeah. Make it like uh, some sort of ro off roady sort Wizard of. brings oh, here to you a new Canopec now you guys Warhammer can't take it. boxes. Here he is. It's this, this is the Cryptek. Mm -hmm. Well, that little thing was him. That is him. I told you it was him. 
That little side base that was in front of the uh, in front of the wraiths. See, it's right there. Yep. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. It's part of him, at least. Oh, the shield is his back. Yeah, he's riding a little tiny wraith. Yeah. Little, little baby wraith. He does. I think he gets some special abilities, too. Look in, the, yeah. look in the book. Where'd the book go? Oh, yeah, he gets a big base. Is there not another book? This is There's the other book. You need instructions. You know what you're doing. And now, our rule book. This is the main. Okay, so Corval's building <laughs> and... This is the this is lore. You don't need to worry about this. Right. Lore and your rules, like yeah. how they work. Well, like your special mission rules, but still. So, lore um, is the story behind them. Yes. All right. So this is the the Forge Bane book, the one that we always want to look at. Of course, your introduction at the beginning. Uh, a new awakening. Lore story. Lore about the the Necrons. Necrons. The machine called. Otherwise known as the ancient new, evil. New map. New map. Oh. Fancy. It's in color too. Night worlds, so explain. They actually have big chunks here. And then they're doing the story again where it's like someone's reporting the mission off off site. They had that for the Fall Acadia books. That's cool. And then our painting section. Yeah, so your mini knights, your necrons. And now we get to the mission, because this box is a narrative game in a box. So we have oh so it looks like they're introducing atmosphere conditions for uh, Forge Worlds. Finally. So we have Corrosive Squall, Dust Storm, and a Clear on a 4+. plus. That's going to make it really entertaining again. I used to love <laughs> weather problems. Uh, deployment. <clears throat> Italian flag deployment. Another deployment. Art. Nice. Dune Crawler. Dune Buggy. Why do they have <laughs> Dune Crawlers in there? They're I don't know. To that. make you buy it. Probably. Okay, so we have the... Oh, so they're introducing the canticles of the Omnissiah for people? They are already in their 40k yeah, in codex. The codex. But it looks like they're introducing it for the small battle yeah. games, too. So you'll have it here. Uh, okay, so we have our we have our stats uh, for the Skatari. We'll have... And then we'll have the stats for the Necrons. Over here. See what they added. Um, looks that like Cryptek should be a new type of Cryptek. Cryptek is in here. We'll take a read at that. And then the uh, Onager Knights are new as well. Yeah. Immortal. And then we have our points value in the back. There's no... Yeah. There's nothing in here for houses. There's no special... Oh, there's some special rules right here. Dynasty, uh, Living Metal, and Reanimation Protocol. Nothing about choosing your dynasty. That How about the Skitari? What did they get? The uh, Chronicles of the Omnissiah. Is that it? Uh, they got Canonicals of the Omnisai and Household. Okay, so Forge World that's in the current uh, Forge World yeah. uh, book is not in there for them. Kiss, kiss the door line. They're called Armager, Armager, Armagerd, Warglaves. They are pow 12 power points. They are a super heavy. Yes, they are. The little fist. They're awful cheap for super heavies. Let's see. What's their wounds? 12. And they have a damage table. So, so they're basically like your average land uh, predator <coughs> tank. So wound wise. At max health we have a fourteen inch movement, three ups and three up three ups across the board. At the lowest we have seven inch and fives. That's not so good. Um, so far based off their just going off their stand, not looking at their upgrades, we have heavy stubbers, a melted gun, and a thermal spear. The thermal spear I think is new. The thermal spear is the cannon on their one arm. Yeah. Uh, the melted gun or the heavy stubber are optional cannons for the <coughs> upper part of the body. And uh, is the Reaper chain cleaver a new one? Uh, yes, it is the new the secondary stub, weapon. The little stub. Uh, the Reaper chain cleaver is going to be really useful for hunting tanks. Times two strength, minus three AP, three damage. And it does a flat six. three damage. So you're going to be able to cut into, like, if you run it up to a predator, you're going to cut into that predator real badly. Uh, just like its big cousin, it does have the invul save of five up against shooting. I think the big knights have a better one. No, nope, um, big knights have a 5 up and won't save on shooting as well. Can big dudes do squadrons? I uh, don't think so anymore. So they I can do houses, but they take up an individual slot per night. Yeah, so that's that's where your bonus is going to be on these, because they can do the, the Dread Knight thing from back in the day where you can have like two of them. Yeah, it's like two or three can travel in a group. Yeah. One thing that it doesn't have that's probably going to make people sad is Imperial Knights are super heavy, so they have the rule Titanic Feet. Titanic feet means that for each attack they have on their template, they get three this normal strength-based attacks. Now, unfortunately, the Warglaves don't have those. Nope. 
But you can replace your stubber for a melt gun for free if you're playing power points. Honestly, to put a melt gun on the top of it is probably better than taking the stubber at all. Skatari Rangers are four power, power <coughs> points. Does that they, does it look like they changed? They anything? haven't changed. They're exactly the same as the rule book. What if they did them? That'd be interesting, but they haven't. You never know. I know. I have the rule book. I read it. Okay, so this is the main cryptech. Ooh, he should be something. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> we're gonna put it up here so people can read with us. So we have power six. He's a five inch move, three ups to hit in for both. Strength four, toughness four, wounds four, and it, uh, attacks one. Leadership ten, a save of four plus. Uh, he comes base with the staff of light. Staff of light shooting in melee. Those ones are that all yours. yours. No, the bases. Oh, yeah. all in there, Just yours too. Not all the little bases, though. <coughs> we still have to split that. Um, okay. uh, let's see. They may take either a chromaton or a cortef cloak, a canopect cloak. Mm. Uh, living metal, technomancer, add a one to all reanimation re protocols within three inches of any friendly dynasty. Chromaton, if he chooses it, units within three inches of him with a. Chromaton have a 5-up invul save against shootings, or if he takes the cloak, a model equipped with the cloak has a move characteristic of 10-inch, gains the fly keyword. So you basically get jetpacks. That's not bad Sweet. at all. And, oh, <coughs> and can select one friendly dynasty model that has the living metal ability that is within 3 inches of the model. That model regains D3 lost wounds. So the, the, the cloak seems really good. Um, besides that, it's the same as any other one. He's just 6 power points now. And then of course immortals. Let's see how much he is. Let's see how much these dudes are in points. These uh, these Skitari dudes. Um, where are they? Put the onagers at like two thirty or something like that. Warglaves, a unit of one to three is two hundred and twenty three points per model. Just about. Uh, Skitari rangers eight points per model. Tech priest one one twenty five per model. Um, Crypt tech is seventy points. Mortals are eight. Lich Guard is 19, and the Wraiths are 38. Your Staff Flight is 18 points. Your Vicious Claws, yeah. Your Chain Cleaver is free, and your Omniscient Axe is free for this Skatari. So the Chain the chain Sword is free on the Knights. So mm -hmm. you, always have a, you always have that. That's nice. But yeah, that's gonna be the it's going to be the unboxing of the Forge Bane. There's going to be a big gap where you don't see the stuff because we're reading the book. And the lighting is bad, so we hmm. didn't leave it on the table. Um, so yeah, uh, final opinions for you guys? I'm excited about the new knights. I was reading a little bit of uh, possible truth that there may be two other types of knights like these. Like They'll be small and the same, but they'll have different weapons loadouts apparently. So I look forward to see what happens with these. I'm a little bit sad because they're super heavies, and they're clearly heavy support choices. What that'll bring for knight players, because I've always wanted to run a knight army, but nobody hits the point cost for knights when yeah. I play. As your first mm -hmm. unboxing and first Warhammer set, mm -hmm. how do you how do you feel about this endeavor? I'm looking forward to learning more. Thanks. Not necessarily the price as much, but also I'm excited that the pieces seem easier to paint than I thought they were. The game it just is definitely a lot. It's, it's got that big uh, stereotypical, like, thing to it or I don't know how to explain it but you see it from outside world it's like oh it's a lot of work but when you actually get into it mm -hmm. it's not that hard it's just just like any hobby like cars or magic or board games video game video games the biggest example video games don't you pay, have set up first yeah you pay like three hundred dollars <laughs> for the console that is like back in the day that was like buying your your arm your battle force and your rule book mm -hmm. and your codex so that was you buying the main system to run the game and then you buy mm -hmm. video games at what, like eighty to a hundred dollars each, and to to run on your three hundred dollar console. That's if you're doing Xbox or like PS4. Yeah. That would be your forty K. Whereas like fantasy back in the day used to be your PC gaming, where it was even more. Or Super Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, and then, then of course, yeah, you'd spend like about anywhere between twenty to a hundred plus on games, which is your models, and um. So yeah, you, you spend it on your, your games, that would basically be like buying models here. So yeah. everything has a viewpoint or whatever you want to say on oh, yeah. games. And I haven't played video games in a while, so I can't remember. Yeah. So yeah. A lot to remember. 
But well, as you go on, you learn more and stuff and remember more. Yeah. So, for bane, Forge Bane, available as soon as you see this video. You can always be ordered in. Get your copies quick, because I have a feeling with this box being at 189 they're definitely going to... There's like $200 plus of value in this set. They're going to go fast. Uh, at my store, we personally have one available for sale. One has been grabbed already. We will see you guys in the next podcast. We should have some interesting chats with Bryce about some of the, the big news released at Adepticon or whatever that event was on that happened a while ago. About Plastic Sisters, Ooh, the new Dark, the dark Plastic Eldars. Sisters. Yeah, our dark maybe. elves, new dark elves. Oh, that's going to be interesting. What? Stuff like that. What? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Mothry <laughs> just came out not too long ago? No, like actual dark elves. Another. They're, they're all split up into different yes. sections. So, unless if they're bringing all of them back together to one. That's never going to happen. Then why say dark elves? Because that's what they are. Ah! Some are privateers, some are serpents, some are... Uh, they're all under order for some reason. And they're all like, dark elves. So much okay. information for this game. Because we can go on for days. We can go on for days. So well, we'll, you two can. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys in the next podcast. Mike, of course, will join us. Uh, we've got a new camera set up for the store, so we'll be doing more better lighting, better podcasting, talking, all that stuff in the store. You'll be able to see Mike... Uh, me, Bryce, we'll have some guys from the other store, and some, even the, the master wizard himself, Jeff. And yeah, we'll see you. See you there. Yeah, next time. And we have a cat coming by. <laughs> it's not going to be a video without a cat. <laughs>